So hi, hello and welcome, Micro Puncher here again. It's been a nice warm spring day in the middle of May and of course uh, the water life started to thrive in this little pond here. I could not resist, of course I had to take a water sample along and I wanted to put it under the microscope and this is one of the critters and creatures that I found here. Uh, it was full of different types of water crustaceans. Of course there were many other water organisms also present but today I'd like to show you some of those water and water crustaceans uh, that are found. Well when you want to collect a pond water sample um, then um, it's always a good idea to take along some solid material not only water but also some algae um, or some sediment from the bottom of the pond because this is also the place where a lot of uh, water organisms can be found but of course the water crustaceans they like to swim around in the open water body. Here we see uh, a few of them that are essentially almost entangled a little bit uh, in the algae and you also see a nice ear bubble and those ear bubbles usually they start to grow as the algae are producing more and more oxygen by photosynthesis. I like those water crustaceans a lot because they are not only quite large and easy to observe but you can also look into the transparent or through the transparent body um, a little bit and this allows you also to see the movement that is going on inside the water animal. This here is a, an image, a stitched photograph of the algae that I've found and you probably also realize by now that there are, the biodiversity was not so high really. Um, there were not so many different uh, types of spe um, algae species around so I've seen actually water samples that were a little bit more interesting even but nevertheless uh, this one was uh, full of water crustaceans of different kinds and I saw for the first time this guy here crawling up and down one of those algaes, also something that I have not uh, seen uh, before. So I spent a couple of minutes just watching this guy going back and forth, up and down um, along, uh, yeah, uh, along the algae here. Quite uh, amusing to watch and it shows that different water organisms have of course a different way of moving forward. Other water organisms, for example the copepods, they have large antenna that they also use uh, for actually um, yeah, moving forward. Here we see a, an air bubble approaching from the bottom and this also pushes along some of the water crustaceans that are found. So it's quite nice here to see that there's actually a higher density to observe. Yeah and uh, one of the, if you look very carefully, one of the interesting things is, is of course you can also see the eye a little bit and the organs and the digestive systems uh, um, of uh, those little water creatures. And I've made other videos already where I actually added a little bit of yeast and I could see how those water crustaceans were taking up and eating the yeast. Quite fascinating to observe. I encourage you to also now use this opportunity to visit a local pond if you have one uh, close by near your place and also put a water sample under the microscope. I would like to thank all of my supporters of course as always. Happy micro hunting. See you around next time and bye bye.